What up players? Warboss Tay up in this mood. Got me some of this new liquid green stuff that seems to be all the rage. Especially with all this fine cast, miscasts and air bubbles going around. So while I wait for my how to paint a terror geist video to upload on my super duper slow internet, I thought that I would see if I can repair some of the miscasts and air bubbles and just general general foolishness and ridiculousness in this Ogre Kingdom's Slaughter Master model. So mainly I'm talking about this join, if you can see way deep in there between the torso and the bottom half, the upper half and the bottom half of the body, there's this huge gap. Might have been because when I was cleaning the model maybe I shaved it down too far in that area. There are also a couple of air bubbles. See if I can find them again. I think that's one there in the leg. There's a really bad one somewhere else. Where is it? Be in the hand? Possibly right there. The joint. Let's get it a little bit closer. air bubbles guys I know they're here somewhere when I was cleaning this guy up they just started appearing like crazy uh, I should have done this before I started filming I was so excited when I got home from the, the hobby shop and I was like, they had one more bottle left and I grabbed it. There's a little air bubble, the point of the Noblar's shoe. One more right there. Uh, looks like one where it could just be the, the effect of the skin pulling. But I remember when I was playing this model together and I was like, oh, look at all these air bubbles and air pockets and stuff. I can't, there's no way I can paint this without getting some of that new liquid green stuff. So I dropped by my hobby store and sure enough, there was one bottle left when I got there. All right, so I'm, I'm gonna keep looking. I'll see if I can find any more, but I'll give you my honest and unbiased review when I get back on how the Citadel new liquid green stuff works. So after a little while, after applying the green stuff, letting it dry, I'm taking a look now at how it turned out. This giant gap in the back of the model is now completely covered. It's like it never was there. And I just used a paintbrush, I didn't even use a modeling tool to feather out the edges. So if, if I had, it would be a, even smoother. This little air bubble that was on the Noblar's toe is completely covered over. So I am very, I have to say, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the, with the product, this Games Workshop liquid green stuff. I heard in the store when I picked it up today that it was basically just GW's way of saying sorry for all the fine cast air bubbles and miscasts. Hope you'll accept this new product as a way of saying our bad. <clears throat> um, but you know what? As, as as long as it does its job, then you know it doesn't matter. And 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 you can use it for all sorts of other stuff. Like if you're kit bashing and. A seam isn't as, or a joint isn't as seamless as you'd like it to be, then you can use this liquid green stuff to cover up the mistakes of that. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. So as a product, I would say liquid green stuff is, is great for modelers, hobbyists, especially anyone who buys fine cast or does a lot of kit bashing. So if you sound like that is you, then definitely pick up some of this liquid green stuff and stay tuned for my war boss tutorial on how to paint this slaughter master because that's going to be the next thing in the series so thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one